this is a simplified diagram of an atom. An atom has a nucleus in the center containing nucleons and electrons moving around the nucleons. The center is called the nucleus. So the nucleons are in the nucleus and the electrons move around the nucleus. Let's focus on the nucleus for now. Remember there are two kinds of nucleons, positively charged protons and neutral neutrons. Basically all of the mass of the atom comes from these kinds of particles, the nucleons. Neutrons and protons are each about equally massive, equally heavy. They have about the same mass. Their mass is very, very small. So small that scientists made a new measuring unit to describe the mass of a neutron or a proton. And that unit is called AMU, atomic mass units. A neutron has a mass of one AMU and a proton also has a mass of one AMU. So if you want to know the mass of a whole atom, all you do is you count the number of neutrons added to the number of protons in that atom and you have the atomic mass in AMU. In other words, the number of nucleons is the same as the atomic mass in AMU because each nucleon has a mass of one AMU. Other names for atomic mass are atomic weight and mass number. These three all mean the same thing. So an atom's mass comes almost only from its nucleus. The electrons have almost no mass in comparison to the nucleons. We say their mass is negligible because it's so tiny we can neglect it. We can forget about it. Electrons are negatively charged and protons are positively charged. For the atom to be neutral as a whole, there have to be just as many protons as electrons so that the positive and the negative charge cancel one another's effects out. So it's neutral overall. So if we know the number of protons an atom has, then we also know the number of electrons that atom has. Because an atom will have the same number of protons as electrons as long as it is a neutral atom, not an ion. And this number, the number of protons, which is also the number of electrons, is determined by the type of element. What do I mean by that? Here are four examples of elements, copper, iron, sulfur and carbon. Each of them has a certain number of protons per atom. Copper has 29 protons in each atom. Every single atom in this iron and in every atom of iron in the whole world, in the whole universe, has 26 protons. That's what makes it an iron atom. Every sulfur atom here has 16 protons. That's what makes it a sulfur atom. And carbon has its particular properties. It's like it is, it's the color it is, it behaves like it is, all because it has six protons in every atom. That's what makes it carbon. Where did I get these numbers from? Well, scientists did different experiments to find these numbers out. But I found these numbers out from a periodic table where the scientists recorded these numbers. The periodic table always gives you the atomic number and atomic weight of each element. Let's take carbon as an example. If you look on the periodic table in the block for carbon, you'll see C, which is the symbol of carbon. That's the quick way to write carbon. And you'll see 6 and 12.01. Let's for now simplify that to 12. What do these numbers mean? The smaller number, 6 in this example, is the atomic number. And the bigger number, 12 here, is the atomic mass. The atomic number tells you how many protons each atom of that element has. Carbon has six protons per atom. So here's a picture of a carbon atom and you can count one, two, three, four, five, six protons in the nucleus of the atom. And because this is a neutral atom, it also has six electrons. So the atomic number tells us how many protons and how many electrons in a neutral atom. What does the 12 mean? The 12 is the atomic mass. That tells us how many nucleons an atom of this kind has. Because each nucleon has a mass of one amu. 
So all the nucleons in a carbon atom have a mass of 12 amu because there are 12 nucleons. Here you can count them. So we display this information in this notation. We write the element symbol and then we have the atomic mass and the atomic number. For example, we write C for carbon, 12, 6. There are 12 nucleons and 6 of them are protons. Can you see how from this we can calculate how many neutrons there are in this atom of carbon? Remember, there are two kinds of nucleons, protons and neutrons. We've already seen that there are 12 nucleons in this atom of carbon. Six of them are protons. So how many neutrons must there be? 12 equals 6 plus what? 12 equals 6 plus 6. There must be 6 neutrons. Another way to find that out is simply to subtract the atomic number from the mass number. 12 minus 6 equals 6.